long now, Sam, till the go-kart's ready for action, eh? <laughs> yeah, and I promised Emu he can have the very first test run. So what's left to buy, Sam? Uh, two wheels and a steering wheel. Make that just a steering wheel. All right, Georgia, that's great. Two more pounds for the go-kart fund. Present from the Tooth Fairy. Awesome! We had toffee apples last night. I took one bite and ping, out it popped. Good timing, huh? The best. I'm sorry, Emu, but I don't think you'll be getting any money from the Tooth Fairy. I hate to break it to you, but emus don't have teeth. <laughs> Good one, Toby. Emus don't have teeth. How do you think he eats his dinner? Well, he has a very strong beak. Can chew anything. Get off me. Stop it. You just have to save a little more pocket money. Excellent. That'll be my crunchy breadsticks ready to take out of the oven. Oh, I love crunchy breadsticks. Can I help? Oh, of course you can. <laughs> Emu. <laughs> Come on, Kelly. <laughs> Yay. Don't worry, Emu. We'll get that two pounds for the steering wheel. And I think I know how. If we cut the top of this marker lid and put some glue here and some glue there... Our friend Emu has just suddenly grown a plastic tooth. Go on, Emu, test it out. Make sure it stays put. Seems to be working. Now we just have to find a way for Emu to accidentally lose his tooth. And it's another two pounds from the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> What's all the excitement about? Emu grew a tooth. Look. What? <gasps> you must be the very first emu in the world to grow a tooth. I think Emu wants you to pull it out. <gasps> what? I can't do that. But Emu. A tooth is very precious. You must never ever take one out on purpose, you know. Great. That's settled then. At least he thought it was real. Too real. Now he wants Emu to keep it forever. Quick, Emu. Open your beak. I'll try and pull it out before Toby comes back, OK? It's stuck! Let me help. You've got to do everything you can to get that tooth out. Getting the go-kart finished depends on it. Can you do it? <laughs> Emu high five. One, two, three, yeah! <laughs> do you know, Emu? I think these are the best crusty, crunchy breadsticks we've ever made. Oh, but they might be a bit tough, so be careful when you bite into them. Don't want to lose your tooth, do we? <laughs> You. St steady on, will you? Oh. Oh. Right. On guard. <laughs> no, 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 just leave them, leave them. I know. Let's go out and buy your very first toothbrush, eh? <laughs> Got to keep teeth nice and clean, otherwise they'll fall out. <laughs> Come on, let's go. The trick is to use the slow setting, you know, because the fast setting. Whoa. Whoa. See? Now, we just need a dab of toothpaste. There we are. A little bit more. Okay. There we are. Yeah. More? Oh, there. there we are. Emu, would you just let go? Emu, stop it! Didn't you just let go? Stop it! <sighs> a bit too much toothpaste. Now, come on, open your mouth. Open your mouthy wealthy. Emu, have I ever told you that I won the All England Bodybuilding Championship? <laughs> <laughs> Only joking. Now, hold still. Back of the tooth. 
I know we do the front of the two. <laughs> and now we're doing your gums while we're here. If you've got any gums. <laughs> I know it tickles Emu, but just hold still, will you? Watch the switch. <laughs> yeah, that might be enough brushing for one day, eh, Emu? Getting it everywhere. I made some nice soft rolls for you, Emu. <laughs> There's no way you'll lose your tooth biting into these. That's two wheels for the go kart. Thanks to George's tooth fairy money. There we go. Just the steering wheel to go. How's your tooth, Emu? He's been brushing it to keep it nice and clean, haven't you, Emu? Mm. Emu? You're not supposed to be cleaning your tooth. Haven't you been trying to lose it? Mm. There must be some way to get that tooth out. Hang on. If we get a strong piece of string and hang it through a pulley on the ceiling, with one end tied to the door of the kitchen, then, we call Toby into the cafe, pulling the door with Emu's tooth ties securely to the other end, and his tooth will go plop, 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 and out it goes. What do you think? OK, Emu, let's review. The string is tied to your tooth. It comes up here, over there, and is tied to the kitchen door. Toby's in the kitchen. We make a big racket. Toby pulls open the kitchen door, pulls on the string. Strings pulling your tooth. Tooth comes out. I'm proud of you, Emu. You're so brave. So remember, you're doing it for the go-kart. Positions! Go! What's all this noise? You said he'd pull the door. Emu, you're not going to pull your tooth out with this string, are you? Right then. <laughs> Toby, can you give me a hand in here? Coming! <laughs> Amy, are you okay? He's fine. <sighs> Toby's right. We're not getting that tooth off with this string. Maybe one of us will lose another tooth sometime. Yeah, sometime this century. What if Emu helps me clean out the covers this week, eh? He could earn some extra pocket money. Like, say, maybe two pounds? <gasps> two pounds will buy us the steering wheel. And I'm sure he'll do such a great job. I'm going to pay him right now. <laughs> Shop shut. Come on. Woohoo. Thanks, Emu. You're the best. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> 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 to be a party pooper, but it's a bit late now. Georgia and Sam have to go on for the tea. Mm. But how about we test drive it outside first thing tomorrow? OK. All right. <laughs> Bye, Kate. Bye. Bye. Bye, Toby. See you, Georgia. Bye, Bye Emu. See you, Sam. <laughs> Bye, Emu. Thanks for your pocket money. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. It does look brilliant, doesn't it? Yeah, I love go-karts and stop carts and any kind of carts, really. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Emu, you want to go outside and test run it now, don't you? No, Emu, uh, we're not taking the go-kart out now. Mm. No, absolutely, positively, no. <laughs> no. 
All right, Emu, are you ready? <laughs> now, for this very first test run, we don't want to go too fast now, do we? <laughs> so we'll put the brake half on. <laughs> like this. There. All right. Are you ready? Here we go. <laughs> Three. Two. Can I help? Oh, of course you can. <laughs> Thing's not gonna go full speed, eh? Oh, see you! Look out, mother! Oh. 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 Emu? Are you alright? Oh, Emu, look! Oh. Emu! Your tooth! Oh, I'm so sorry, mate. Hang on a minute. Has this tooth been fake all along? <laughs> you, you trickster. I suppose you'd still like two pounds from the tooth fairy, would you? <laughs> oh, you, you. Oh. <laughs> well, at least just safe, eh? <laughs> right, it's my turn next. There's more emu next, and who knows what madness that's going to bring. I'll tell you one thing, though. It's going to get messy, and we all like a bit of mess, don't we? <laughs> They're gonna gobble this up, aren't they? Don't slurp, Emu. Oh, it's hot. Oh, you smell that? Oh, it's ponging up the whole cafe. Oh, this is my super duper slurper soup. Oh, no, that's lovely. No, this is more of an old tennis shoe left out in the rain gone mouldy kind of smell. Oh, oh yes. I think I've just got a whiff. Ooh. Oh. 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 oh, it's getting stronger. Oh, oh. oh it's you. Oh. oh, I have to admit, Emu, you are a bit on the old. What is that dreadful odour? Hello. <laughs> You're looking lovely today, Leo. <laughs> I smelt it as soon as I stepped out of the lift. It's like an old budgie cage. The nose knows, you know. You'll get a health violation notice for this. A smelly kitchen is a dirty kitchen. Hmm. And you'll get closed down like that. If you don't get rid of that stink, I shudder to think what Letitia will say. Who's Letitia? Letitia Leach. A famous food writer, and my sister. Your sister? I thought she might like to look this place over. Though I can't imagine she'll have much to recommend. Oh, cheer up, you two. Clean in no time. Had to wash a parrot once. It doesn't take as long as you'd think. <laughs> Kelly, about Leo's sister. You mean my sister who's so incredibly important that no one has ever heard of her? Oh. oh. Letitia's luscious lunches. We've got three of her cookbooks. All her reviews are in all the big papers. She's well known. So what? Well, the thing is. Every place that's had a bad review from her has closed down. She's like a curse. 
But your food's delicious, Toby. <laughs> Thank you, Kelly. Besides, Emu's just made the most wonderful soup in the world, haven't you, Emu? <laughs> oh. Oh. Oof. How many weeks since you had a bath? One week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, five, six, seven, eight, nine, no, about a white. We get the idea, Emu. I've got to do something about this smell. Why don't I warm up a nice pot of water right here for you, eh? <laughs> Look, I know that baths aren't your favourite thing, Emu. Emu? Stay. Stay. Need a hand! Get back here! Coffee grounds. That should make you smell lovely. Emu, stop it. It's for the best, Emu. Ow. If the cafe smells of unwashed bird when Natisha Leach gets here, she could ruin us all with the stroke of her pen. All set, Sam. Well stirred and ready to go. And just a dash of dish soap to condition those lovely feathers. Stop! What? You've got the wrong pot. The pot with the top has what's yummy for your tummy. The pot with the top. And what's stirred for the birds in the vat with no hat. So the vat with no hat is what's stirred for the birds. But what's yummy for your tummy in the pot with the top. What's all this got to do with this soap? It's easy. My soup's the one with the lid on. Don't get them mixed up. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you should have just said. <laughs> you could get in that, couldn't you? You can have your rubber ducky. <laughs> I'll go and get it then. I'm afraid you'll find this cafe rather ordinary too. So, why am I wasting my time here? This Toby fellow needs taking down a notch, and I think you're just the person to do it. Hmm, speak of the devil. <gasps> Miss Leach. Hello. Welcome. This must be the person with the repugnantly malodorous scullery. <laughs> <laughs> the what? With the smelly kitchen. Oh, yes. Uh, I mean, no. <laughs> Our kitchen's smell free. We use soap and water everywhere. Oh, <laughs> Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> oh, our kitchen's very clean and never messy. Well, I'm looking forward to trying your kiddie cuisine. I'm in the mood to write a nasty review. Oh, wonderful. Oh, I mean, oh, no, please don't. I mean, oh, I don't know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly's looking over here and frowning. <laughs> Oh, crumbs. Better get a move on. Stop! The soup is in the pot with the lid. Don't get them mixed up. Thanks, Georgia. I'm all rattled. <laughs> Letitia. <laughs> <laughs> Her hat just knocked Kelly in the face. <laughs> that hat is the most ridiculous... Yeah. <laughs> you look so big and buffy. She looks scary. I bet she keeps Leo in line. Well, better get out there. <laughs> ah. oh. Here we go. Wish me luck. 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 No, no problem. Not an atmosphere conducive to digestion. Great, great soup. Really different. 
burn it. There's a feather in mine. A feather? <laughs> no, no, it's a... It's, it's, it's a, a fancy straw. <laughs> Isn't it unique? <laughs> How does it work? Well... <clears throat> You uh, just uh, slurp the soup up like this. <coughs> Unusual colour. This looks like a toenail. I'm some kind of large animal. Uh, no, no. <laughs> it, it's a, a, a special peppercorn. <laughs> Won't find this in many restaurants. <laughs> well, wasn't that delicious? Now let's clear it all away and have a nice cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent idea. <laughs> Ow! Wait a minute. There's something funny going on here. Uh -huh. Hello. Enjoying your lunch? Ha <laughs> Aha! Ha ha! Oh, you found it! Yes, I did. Found what? Our fancy straw dispenser. <laughs> See? Well, it still looks like a feather to me. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Who did that? I'm so sorry. It's been a bit of a mix-up. It's a mix-up of the most unusual flavours. I knew the chef would disappoint us. Disappoint us? It's spectacular. This is the most complex soup I've had in years. Is it? But Letty... I'm sure there's been an unlicensed use of bird parts. I'll need to write a report. You do no such thing. This Toby fellow is a genius. Breaking new culinary ground with his daring use of ingredients. That could be germs. They look squeaky clean. <coughs> and you can take them home at the end of the meal. Come along, Leo. I must write this review while there's still time. Leo! Coming, Letty. <laughs> there you are, Amy. <gasps> Here it is. Kids Cafe Cooks Up a Storm by Letitia Leach. <laughs> that is Emu. Don't slurp your soup. Fabulous food, surprising soup straws. <gasps> really recommended. <laughs> Brilliant. You should offer special emu straws with all your soup. No way. I never ever in a million years want to see another emu straw. <laughs> no way. <laughs> emu! <laughs> Stop it. Next, we're knee-deep in mud with Farmer Paul. In farm camp, nine kids swap the city for something more sticky. Hold the other one, mate. <laughs> <laughs>